This is a DIY fix for a KitchenAid dishwasher. Not sure what model, but the rollers are broken. Okay, there's two different types of failures here. One is when the little holder for the wheel breaks off. So what happens, this wheel is not supposed to be able to just come off like that. There's no little plastic thing in there. The other failure is when the little tab breaks off altogether. Now the first fix I'm going to show you, I did it years ago. Here's, here's one. So this is with the uh, little wheel keeper broke off. And so this is what it looks like after you've done it. And I use steel wire. So this is not stainless steel, just regular steel. So that's why it's all rusty. Um, one, here's one, the only one that hasn't broken is there. Let me see if I can get real close up. You can see there's little holders in there and it keeps the wheel from coming off. Okay, so this is the greatest DIY fix maybe in the history of man because it takes like one minute to do. So I'm gonna show you over here on this one what you do. So you just get a small drill bit like this and drill a hole like that, cut a piece of wire, oh, inch and a half or so, insert it through the hole, and then what you've gotta do is put this on there. So, okay, so simply, super easy, just bent the wire and put the wheel on, make sure the, uh, it's on the right directions, and not backwards, so the little canal thing or, uh, goes on the outside. And then all you do is spread these. Press it to the sides like that, and presto, that is your fix. Now the only thing that you need to do is clip this wire off. So that's a real simple job to do. Now the next one I'm gonna show you is a little more complicated. And I just did it because I had some spare materials. So this one broke all the way off, so I was trying to figure out what to do. And then I found this stainless steel bar, 3 8 inch diameter in my, in my shed. So I've already, I've already done this once, so I know that it works. So you cut this about 21 and an eighth inches. You need to measure it. Uh, get a 3 8 inch drill bit and drill out the little hole it's going through. Just got to open it up a little bit. Okay, ignore the dirty dishes. And then I'm gonna just slide this all the way through to the other side. Come over here. There we go. Okay, so got it through, and that's about what it's supposed to look like. This wheel isn't broken yet. We're just going to let this shaft sit there. Uh, I'm going to, that's a little bit too far, uh, but I'll pull it in. So I'm over here. And so what we're going to do over here is put the wheel on. And I have uh, the wheel right here, and then I just found a, a little spacer that'll help make it roll better, put the wheel on, the shaft. And when this thing is assembled, you don't have to do anything because the shaft won't move and the wheel can't come off this way because of the, um, because of the rail that it slides on. So let's check that out. Let's make it a little bit rough. So I only have one hand, but I'm not trying to do this anyway. So you have to open the little tabs on the rails, obviously to get the wheels in. And I'll try to keep the camera somewhat on there. So this is this side. This is this side. And you can see the stainless steel bar right there. And it rolls back and forth pretty well. There's a little bit of a rub, but I can get that by adjusting that bar. I believe it must be too far to one side or the other. And then the last thing I'm gonna do just put a twist tie to pull uh, and put it between this, the bar, and this little uh, rail right here. So it'll just cinch it, cinch it down, and that's it. I got it all adjusted now. Here you can see the um, wire wire tie, or whatever you want to call it. I'm not using it for a wire tie in this case. Zip tie, and um, they're not they're not tight. They're just holding that. Holding that bar in place so so it won't move. And on this side, 
Let's see, you can see the wheel in there. Right there, it's not focusing in the right place. There we go. And we can open the little door. The steel shaft goes almost all the way through to the other side. Um, so that, that wheel is not necessarily captured. Uh, it requires the shaft to be in and for the uh, wheel to be in the rail there. But we'll try it. You see it from that side. See the shaft in there? And I, I, I just took uh, some the grinder and sandpaper, tried to make it smooth in case it does rub. And then on the other side, see this one still has the final working wheel in there. And there you can see the shaft that's ready. When this wheel breaks, I'll just move it over there. And so we'll be ready for that. The reason I started looking at this in the first place is you can't just buy this little plastic assembly down here. You have to buy a whole new tray. So that got me motivated to try and fix it.